Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic. As you can see, we're surrounded by water. We're here in southern France in the Arcachon Bay, just west of Bordeaux. And today, we're embarking upon one of the great French adventures. We're gonna be hunting, farming, harvesting, and later tonight, alongside family and friends, preparing over live fire some of the most incredible oysters on the face of God's green earth. My friends, you don't wanna miss this. Let's go. Arriving now to the Oyster Park. Now here on the island you see just uh, to the north, they've been harvesting oysters here for more than a hundred years. In the early 1900s though, the local oyster died off and it's really unexplained. The French government brought oysters in from Portugal. Portuguese oysters were placed here in these parks. Within a matter of years they also died. And now we're farming Japanese oysters here in Arcachon Bay. But the original, the original oyster hunters would come out to this island, they would row out, they would also use the wind to get back and forth. It would take them a day or so to get to the island. They would stay here for more than a week, hunt geese, hunt oysters, and return back to town with their harvest. It's pretty dang cool to see here in person. This is what we've been waiting on all day. The tide has dropped probably 20 feet out into the Atlantic, and it's revealed these oyster farms. Check this out. Oyster farming happens only by the grace of the good Lord in Mother Nature. If you look below, the tide is racing back in. We're limited with how long we can be out here. It's time to get to work. All right, we've landed here in St. Andre Kuzbach. We found this incredible farmer's market. Let's go check it out and see what we can find. The 
kilo. The sea uncovers the parks and the oyster beds become visible. Exposed. Yeah, and then they, and when the tide comes back in, then they have to get back on their boats and come home. Wow. So um, the tide is dictating the farming oh, of absolutely. the oysters. Absolutely, and it dictates everyone's lives, especially here. Yeah. Yo man, I'm so excited about today. It's a total bucket list day, right? We're together, we traveled around the world. We're here in Southern France. We're in the Arcachon Bay. We had this amazing morning harvesting literally a boatload of oysters and arguably some of the most beautiful water on God's green earth. We're doing three different types of shellfish. We're doing three different sauces all over the fireman. Where do we start with the oysters? Great place to start, classic mignonette sauce. Nice and simple. Super done, nice and easy. We're then gonna move on to the mussels and we're going directly inside of the cast iron. How are we gonna prepare the mussels today? Again, today simple wins the day. We're gonna do some butter, white wine, fresh herbs. Good to go. It's so simple, it's so easy, but that's the beauty of French cooking, right? Really elevate those flavors. And Drew, I'm gonna finish up today with the prawn. We're going directly over the fire. Many folks know what a chimichurri is, but we're doing a classic parsley sauce elevated with tons of citrus, a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna be amazing and it's gonna cut through all that fire and smoke. Perfect, love it. All right, man, let's get started. All right, man, fire's ripping. We're doing mussels to start inside the cast iron. Walk me through the sauce. Start with the simplest thing here. I'm just gonna cut up a shallot, okay? okay. Maybe two of them. So I like about the cooking that transpires here in this particular region. Super simple ingredient, super delicious, but it has a little bit of rusticness to it, which I think lends itself to being just, just super cool, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is gonna get some butter in this pan. Great. All right, then we're gonna sweat these shallots, hit it with some white wine, mussels in, salt in, cover it up, five to seven minutes, you're ready to rock and roll. Mussels are done and it's time to fire up our prawn. Check out the size of these ginormous crustaceans. They're so incredible. Freshly harvested from the ocean yesterday. Simply this recipe requires prawn, fire, and smoke. This cook is so easy and so quick. It's two to three minutes aside preparing the prawn until they're translucent in color and the juices run clear. Check out the char on the bottom side of these prawns.
All right, man, we say the best for last. We have the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. These are French Arcachon Bay oysters, and there's no oyster like this anywhere else in the world. Why is that? I'll tell you what, David, it comes down to two factors. Really, it's the relative temperance of this water, and it also comes down to the current that resides here as well. For this recipe, it's fire, it's smoke, and we have a super cool French classic sauce with a twist. Let's shuck some oysters and get started. Look at you, man. You've done this before, haven't you? Oh, a couple of times. There we go. No, oh, man. As I say, uh, it's good enough for who it's for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers. That's phenomenal. Wow. That so, is phenomenal. Uh, we have a pile of these left to do, man. Uh, let's get our sauce ready to rock, and the rest of these bad boys are going on the fire. All right, dude. Walk me through the mignette. All right, super simple, guys. First thing we have here is what's called a brunoise of shallot. That's a simple way to say, or a fancy way to say, a very, very small dice, okay? Next thing we have going in, guys, sea salt. Live five style, double the sea salt, <laughs> love that. And then some coarse black pepper. A lot of black pepper, okay? We really wanna go overboard here. What's gonna happen is when we pour this vinegar in, this is gonna marinate, it's gonna absorb these flavors, so we really wanna push hard on it, okay? Last but not least, you can use white or red wine vinegar, Life Fiber Public Style red wine vinegar. Let's go. That's such a great color, man. It has Isn't that it? super cool rosy red color that's gonna add some sweetness as it cooks. Totally beautiful. And that's the sauce. We got a little something extra. We grabbed some fresh basil. Man, all we're gonna do is just pair off these basil leaves we're gonna roll them up and we just have a super simple chiffonade. That's gonna be rolling through, taking an extremely sharp knife, working it down through the basil, have these beautiful strands of fragrant herbs, and we're just gonna drop them right into the sauce. I absolutely love this addition to this sauce. It's beautiful as it is, right? The traditional mignette sauce is amazing on its own, but I think bringing some herbs, a little bit of color, some freshness, a little bit of fragrance is gonna be just amazing. Simple as pie, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Exactly what we want, David. It's gonna bubble up that liqueur on the inside along with the mignonette that we put on there, bubble it up. Also the inside, the muscle here, is reduced down by about a third. We're 100% ready to yank these off the grill and rock and roll. Simmer and shrivel. That's it, you really can't take them anywhere. <laughs> the two rules of oysters, man. <laughs> Hey, if you love this episode as much as we loved sharing and creating it for you, do a couple things for me. Number one, smash that subscribe and like down below, flip on the bells, and don't miss a single episode. We are literally traveling across the globe, cooking in some of the most beautiful and breathtaking locations on the face of God's green earth. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know about your favorite travel culinary experience for all these recipes and more. Get on over to livefirerepublic.com. And don't forget to send some love to our friends here in Arcachon Bay, Astacia and Agus, Sasha and Jolie. Until then, my friends, the time for talk is over. Let's eat. Yo, this has been such an incredible day, man. From harvesting oysters in the middle of the Arcachon Bay to being here and cooking over the fire together. But I really think the best of our night is yet ahead. My friends, this has been Shellfish over live fire from the south of France. Stay hungry. When in, when in France. And low tide is now. Low, the low tide is exactly <laughs> right now. <laughs>
Nice and easy, one take, everybody knows the rules. You're so right, man. Let's go. <laughs> I, I clanked you. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, you caught me. Just have a little bit of vino with my cooking today. Cheers. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh. Ah!